Hey survivors, another video. I haven't talked much about empaths. In this video, I would like to talk about the reasons why narcissists appear to hate empaths. Please like the video, share your thoughts in the comments, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and please share the video with anyone who you believe may help. If you would like to make a donation, please follow the PayPal link in the video description. And if you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, my email is in the video description as well. First, I'd like to give a definition on what an empath is. An empath is a person with a paranormal ability to perceive the mental or emotional state of another individual. A healed person who is at a healthy balance between narcissism and codependency. A healed person who is in harmony with themselves feels no purpose to abuse or manipulate anyone and feels no purpose to take revenge. It is the narcissist who can never heal themselves no matter what they do. I guess in some way this is their karma. The victims of narcissistic abuse can heal over time, become genuinely happy again, strengthen their boundaries and be everything the narc tried to sabotage and prevent. This is part of the reason why narcs are so hateful and envious towards empaths. We have the capabilities to heal and become healthy again. The narcissist cannot do this because they are in denial and tell themselves that you are the problem. They never accept responsibility or accountability for anything that they do, which results in a, an arrested development. This makes it impossible for them to learn from their mistakes or grow. If you do this, you can never change or heal. You will always be a narcissist. The narcissist is envious of the qualities that the empath possess. The empath is more in harmony within themselves than the narcissist. The empath does not see any purpose in abusing or manipulating anyone. No purpose to take revenge. It just shows how much of a better, more mature person they are to the narcissist. The empath has all of the capabilities to heal themselves and become emotionally healthy. They have all of the capabilities to become self-love abundant. While the narcissist remains in a state of deep insecurity and self-hate. So you can see why the narcissist hates the empath. You can see why they are deeply envious of them. The narcissist's emotional state is based on how other people feel about them. And if other people are feeling down, they are feeling good. If other people are feeling good, they are feeling down. This is the opposite of the empath. The empath loves when other people are happy and joyful. It makes them feel the same way. The narcissist notices this and it makes them angry. It makes them want to destroy whatever connection or interaction you have going on there because they cannot get the same fulfillment. When the narcissist is around people who are happy or joyful, it triggers them to reflect on themselves and how miserable they are. It makes them want to insult them or give a backhanded compliment 
anything to take away the happiness or joy. Because it is triggering them to reflect on how miserable they are. Most often, the insult or backhanded compliment isn't personal. It's just too painful for the narcissist to watch an empath move through life. Empaths actually enjoy the happiness of other people. The narcissist hates that. I think somewhere inside the narcissist, they wish that they could enjoy the happiness of others. Not for their benefit, of course. They would probably just use that as a tool to manipulate them in some way. But the narcissist would love to feel the way that we feel. And since they know they can't feel like we do, they are going to do whatever they can to sabotage and destroy that feeling. Because they can't feel that way. The narcissist's goal is to make the empath upset. The narcissist is living in hell, hell in their minds all day, every day. They have dysfunctional thoughts and experience negative emotions all of the time. They find no satisfaction or fulfillment in the little things in life. They find limited satisfaction or fulfillment in material items, money or relationships. The narcissist thinks in their mind, I've been in misery all my life. It's your turn now. I want to watch you suffer. It is also a coping or defense mechanism and a short distraction from their endless misery. You may wonder why the narcissist is so focused on hating the empath rather than focusing on their own lives. The narcissist has dysfunctional thoughts and experiences negative emotions almost all of the time. The last thing they want to do is to focus on their own thoughts and emotions or focus on their own lives. They are doing everything they possibly can to avoid doing that because it's too painful for them. They need to escape from reality. When they are abusing and manipulating the empath, it is like escapism for them. This is why it becomes highly addictive because the narcissist mind and life is so miserable and full of pain and suffering. So when they take their minds off that and put their focus on you, it just makes their lives seem so much better. It's like during that moment when they are trying to tear down the empath, all of the problems in their world disappear at least for that moment. They hate that the empath is genuinely kind and cares about people. Narcissists only care about themselves and they know that if they did genuinely care about people, it would create more opportunities for them to obtain attention, validation, approval and admiration. Of course, if they weren't so self-absorbed and actually did care about other people, they wouldn't have this obsessive need to obtain attention, validation, approval and admiration. But I don't think they go that deep into it. In some ways, they see the empath as being a better person. But then they also see the empath's kindness as a weakness and something to take advantage of. They hate the empath anyway, and also people in general. They hate how the empath has all of these qualities and paranormal abilities that they do not possess. The narcissist believes that they are special. They are the exception. They are supposed to have unique gifts that you do not possess, not the other way around. It triggers them to reflect on themselves and how they might not be so special after all. 
covert narcissists believe that they have the special gift that the world wasn't ready for or couldn't recognize. They believe that the, the world owes them. In many cases, the covert narcissist may have wanted to be recognized for a very long time. Over time, it created a lot of hatred and anger within them. So when the empath finally comes along and acknowledges the covert narcissist, validates their unique, unique gifts or special talents, Although from an observer's point of view, this could come across as a kind act. But the covert narcissist blood is boiling at that point. Because they have this entitlement and arrogance. They believe that you owe them something and you should have been there for them a long time ago. So as an empath, when you are kind to a covert narcissist, this is why it appears to trigger them and make them angry or passive aggressive towards you.